Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 81 of our Enigmatica 6 Expert Let's Play series, where today we're working uh, with a little bit of Nature's Aura, getting ourselves, uh, well, it's really Nature's Aura, Batania, Ars Nouveau. Our goal is a Sylph Charm. Got a lot of work to do to get there. Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends. Another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrada, where it's actually, well, I was going to say it's daytime, but it's becoming nighttime. So, yeah, traditional sleep. Let's do it. Nice. Today, we are going to continue on where we left off last episode with getting our uh, drops of glycerol. As you can see, I already have our drops of glycerol because I went ahead and finished off the craft that we were working on yesterday. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, real quick, I want to point out, it's been mentioned to me a couple times in the comments on how to resolve the issue with the drawer controller and refined storage. The issue lies with storage drawers, as we discussed before, and the way that it loads uh, its inventory of drawers after the fact. It, 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 the, it's like lazy loading, really. It's weird how it loads its stuff, which means refined storage can't always pick it up. So what I've done, there is a block called a clock out block, and this was mentioned in the comments and I believe in my Discord to try this out. This is from uh, Resourceful Bees, and actually I have advanced tooltips on, so let me turn those off. Um, and all this does is outputs a redstone signal when a player is online. Simple. Simple to craft, just some cobblestone and some redstone dust. So I took that and I put it down here below our external storage. And I set our external storage to only work with a redstone signal. So my hope is that uh, this will be off until I actually load into the world in which this will send the signal, which will trigger the external storage on the drawer controller, which will make it so that the external storage loads after the drawer controller does. In theory, we'll see how that works out um, just because, you know, it's a it's a pain because I'll, I'll load into the world and I'll start trying to work on stuff in between episodes and uh, I can't because I have nothing available to me. And then I got to come over here and, you know, do a thing and break it and replace it. And it's just a pain. Um, Mr. Carol did despawn, I guess, but we have Shane the Scant here now. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool running around doing his thing. So anyway, in between episodes, uh, I did a little bit of work uh, just to get some stuff prepped and everything. Nothing too crazy. I went ahead and kicked off the turf craft. Uh, I just set the system how to make turf, which was super simple. It's literally four grass makes four turf. And so we have a recipe for that in the system. So I uh, had it do that. And then I uh, just basically queued up uh, all this stuff on our to-do list so we can start working on things. And so here's our... Here's the rub right now, okay? Uh, so first off, pop over to our factory. We're going to see I got the glycerol. Uh, we had discussed this at the end of last episode. We were working on our ethanol. We got that done, and then we need to get plant oil or vegetable oil. This was super simple. It's just seeds inside of the thermopneumatic processing plant, so I figured I'd just skip that process since it, it, it's super simple. So I just threw seeds in here, let it cook up, and then brought everything over here to make um, the glycerol. And then we have a byproduct of biodiesel here, and I have a little bit of ethanol left over, which is great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we have, I think we have a pressure leak somewhere, or is this, maybe that was it. Something, uh, we're, we're like out of completely out of pressure in here, and I don't know why. I think I, I think it's because I left this on. I forgot to turn this off for our vortex tube. We did process through all this stuff, but now we have no pressure inside of here at all because I, uh, well, did the thing by leaving it on. That was my fault. And I only had one bucket in there? Great. How about you? This guy needs to run so that whenever we need to do a craft, it's ready to go. I really do need to set up XNet to manage all this, so that way we can have fluids pull out of this into these automatically and then maintain fluid inside of our liquid compressors. Uh, let me add, let's do LPG. I'm going to add that to my to-do list so that we remember that we need to set that up. Because we have XNet now and we have wireless power capabilities, so we can actually go ahead and automate that thing. Um, but that's a project for another day. So what we're going to work on, uh, I got, so I got the glycerol. We got that going, which means we can get the bandages going. I taught the system how to make the bandages. So if we go ahead and drop all this stuff in here and we say we need, um, let's see, we're working on construction tools. Yes, we're going to need a total of 20 bandages. 
So if I do this, bam, 20 bandages should craft up fairly quickly uh, as we go. All right, so that takes care of that. Now we need to get our compressed iron drill bits. Super simple. It's literally just a piece of compressed iron inside of a thermopneumatic processing plant with a temperature higher, greater than 300 degrees Celsius and four and a half bar of pressure. The only complicated part is that it requires lubricant form buckets of it. Uh, we've actually never made lubricant before because we've always bought it, uh, but it's made with the biodiesel that we just made, plus a little bit of redstone will make this. I did go ahead and buy it again, though, because, well, I didn't feel like setting up more biodiesel and everything, getting more ethanol. So Amadron had it available for sale. 24 buckets of it is what we have, and we need a total of uh, 16 buckets, I believe, or 20 buckets, because we need to make five of these things. So let's go ahead and pop over to our factory. And we're going to go ahead and utilize this thermopneumatic processing plant, because it's kind of been our... Um, well, our processing processor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This holds 16. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to do that four more times. But then if we just get a compressed iron, we're going to end up ultimately getting four of these, right? Five of these. Bam. So we can throw that in there. We just need to kick this on and flip that really quick so it pulses so that way this can go. Should get up the temperature fairly quickly, and it's obviously going to get up the pressure pretty quickly, too. And then this thing's going to have to just, you know, we're going to have to backfill with pressure here. It is filling up, though, so which means we don't have a leak. It was literally just because I left that vortex tube running and completely forgot about it. That is my bad, for sure. So once this gets up there, this should go. We could even tick accelerate it if we decided to. Uh, if it could hurry up and get to temperature, that would be great. But we can come into the back here and give it a little bit of a boost. That way it does the thing faster. Let's go ahead and throw... Okay, those don't stack. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Turn that off, and we're good to go here. All right, so we have the five compressed iron drill bits that we're going to need. So we have the bandages, we have the compressed iron drill bits, now we just need pneumatic jackhammers. And we need four or five of these things. Fairly simple to craft too. Like, it's literally just a craft. So all we have to do is one, two, uh, what are we missing? Pneumatic cylinders? That can be handled. We can purchase those. I have been slowly purchasing some concrete too as we go as the as the uh, guy resets here you sell me the pneumatic cylinders no you sell pneumatic cylinders excuse me no one of you guys has pneumatic cylinders is it you you no i swear somebody had pneumatic cylinders is it you yeah, you do it. Okay, cool. Emeralds. Hey. Yo, 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 yo. No, I do not approve. Give me those. And then you get back in your freaking gym. I know you're trying to escape. You're you're literally trapped in a Pokeball here, essentially. Uh, but yeah, I don't care. That's your life now. It's comfortable inside of there. I, I, I hope. I hope you have, you know, some sort of a comfortability in there. But if you don't, that's not my problem. That's your problem. Okay, so two, three, four, and five. Bam. Okay. And that should be everything we need to get our first part of the engineer school project done. If we grab our bandages, we can then take these over to our factory and we can actually set this up. And this one we can actually set up fairly easily because it's, uh, you know, it's a simple craft here. So we're going to do pneumatic jackhammers is one. You go there. And then five of you there. Five of you there. Five of you there. And five of you there. And what's our catalyst for this? A cardboard box. So if we just grab a piece of cardboard. Bam. Luckily, we can craft it. 
and we throw this in here. Now, before we uh, fully automate all this, we're gonna switch up our system here. Oh, I have to turn these guys on, don't I? There we go. We're gonna switch over to getting ender tanks for all of these. Uh, and instead of using this, we're gonna have an ender, or uh, sorry, an ender chest at the end. It'll be much faster, especially when we have to run these things through 500 times instead of waiting for it to go through. What did we run out of? Great. I'm not entirely sure what just happened here. But get stuck. Are you completed? Hey, it completed. I don't know what happened there, why it got all flubbed up. But hey, we got our first step. We have our construction tools crafted. We can go ahead and actually get a chest over here. And we'll store all these things over here. That way, you know, when we're done, we have it. So that is the first step of our engineer school project taking care of construction tools. Next is engineering, student, landscaping, and foundation materials, but we're working on that uh, as we go. Let's go ahead and take a nap, throw our extra lubricant in our system, and then talk about our next steps here because there are some steps that we are going to have to take. What used to go here that I'm missing? Yeah, it was my backpack. Maybe time in a bottle went there. Something like that. Something's missing and it's throwing me off. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, because this went here and that went there. There we go. Okay, cool. So that takes care of our engineering student meals, which is our, or I'm sorry, that takes care of our uh, construction tools. First step done. Probably the easiest step out of all of them though. So uh, yay for us, but we have a lot more work to do. If you see on my uh, task bar here, we got a lot of stuff, okay? So our next goal is to start working on the engineering student meals. We also have our landscaping materials and we have our foundation materials, okay? Um, now, landscaping materials is where we're gonna start next. I'm gonna skip over our engineering student meals because I, most of this I can just auto craft or I can set this to craft in um, the system here. So like if I say I want the vegetable curry, that's super simple to do. Like we just say, hey, system, you're going to make vegetable curry. Bam. You have the rice. It has all of this stuff already available. So we need a total of what? 60 of these? Yeah, 60 vegetable curry. We should be able to craft that. Vegetable curry. Oh, look, we already have 48 from Quest Rewards anyway. So really, we just need 12. Uh, and we're missing curry powder. Well, we can teach it how to make curry powder which is this, making sure that it's on exact. I do not want to use habaneros for this. It is going to only use peppers, peppers and peppers only. Do not pull any habaneros. I will be very upset. So now if I say I want 12 of these, it'll craft them. And there we go. There's the vegetable curry taken care of. The mango habanero wings is going to be similar process. We're just going to have to get our mangoes in here. I do need to get the cooked chicken wings going, which is a cutting board recipe with a knife uh, and raw chicken. But we can get that done. So like this is all this is all fairly simple. The milk, we need to get our cow in a bottle going uh, or I'm sorry, cow in a jar, which is a milk jar. A cow and an anvil. Uh, and I don't know if a damaged anvil will work, so let's just grab a fresh one. And then we just need to get ourselves a cow. Hello, my friend. Come here. Um, I just need you to be like in an area where you can't escape. Let's get some fence. You just need to be in your own little fenced in area right here. We're going to put the milk jar down. We're going to put the cow on top of it, bam, and then right above that, we can go ahead and drop our anvil, bam, and there we go, cow in a jar. And so what it'll do is it's just going to continue to make milk, right? If we just set this out somewhere, milk stored, 10 of 32 buckets. So it'll just keep storing milk and we can pump that out into a uh, anything really. Uh, Ideally, we'd have this linked up with refined storage with an external storage so we have milk available into our system. But for now, what I'm going to do is just set it up and have it go into a uh, tank. 
Uh, and we can use, sure, we can use this one. It's got 64 buckets worth of storage that it, or fluid that it can store. There we go. And so now it'll fill up in here and we'll end up with 64 buckets of milk, which is great. Anvil can go away. Spruce fence can go away. We can clean up again. And there we go. That takes care of that. So that way we're, we'll start working towards the plum pudding. We're going to have everything we're going to need for this. We have a bunch of eggs in our drawer over there because I put our chicken there. My biggest issue is going to be the enchanted golden apples. And I've looked through the recipe of this. Uh, we have a couple options. There's this option here in the alloy kiln using arcane gold and honey apples. We do have the honey available for this. So this would be a viable option the arcane gold though is going to be the hard part um we can make it with a hellfire forge with uh 16 will per craft and a block of gold and refined crimson i would need 120 of these i believe yes because or no 240 because it's four and i need to make 60 of these so yeah six times four is 24 so 240 so I would need 240 blocks of gold 240 refined crimson and a ton of will it's not like the most viable of options with this all i would need to do would be to craft 120 of each potion uh except for this one which is only 60 so i think this is going to be the route i want to go uh and actually this is going to be 180 for this one but that's okay it's going to be a pain to craft this many potions but it's going to be a viable option for us it'll be much easier overall i think to go this route instead of going the arcane gold block route so we're going to work on setting this up as you can see here i have a potion brewer set up from uh industrial foregoing on our hot bar so that we can start working on making this and getting a potion brewer going so we can automate some of the potioning also it was mentioned in the comments from last episode if you set this thing up keep in mind that this spore recreator you uh takes 1000 rf per tick to run so just it's expensive very expensive machine it's a good thing i did not set up water to get pumped into there automatically uh, otherwise we probably would run out of power fairly quickly okay so what do i need to work on next well so we're gonna we're gonna move past the engineer student meals and we're gonna jump over to our landscaping materials because it's our next big bottleneck i guess you could say that's not going to require me to set up some sort of auto crafting leaves are easy we can get silk touch on shears uh or um, so we can use shears I, I have those shears that have the um unbreaking on them i can shear a bunch of trees like that's that's fairly simple getting a thousand leaves is not hard at all the hard part here is going to be the flowers because as you can see there it says accepts any minecraft small flowers and that's why i had uh advanced tool tips on earlier because i was like okay let's see what kind of flowers we have because my idea with this was to just bone meal up a bunch of rose bush and it would work perfectly fine so if we type dollar sign flowers in here uh we're gonna see everything that is um a flower uh, if we do flower it's going to say anything that has the tag of flower in it and you're going to see oak saplings are going to show up here because they can go into the supplementary flower box but what we're concerned with is anything that says small flower so if you look in the tooltip there it's uh line one two three four right there minecraft small flowers if we take a look at rose bushes uh here it has a one two three four fourth line again minecraft tall flowers will not work for this it is a minecraft flower but it is a tall flower not a small flower so we have to go ahead and search for small flowers and this is what we have in our system for this and we don't really have many options of duplicating this i could run around the world and go find these but we would need uh, a total of 250 of any one flower that i have to go run around and look for viable yeah, I guess I could bone meal and then uh, vein mine and bone meal and vein mine and probably get my way up there. It's a it's a pain. So what I want to do is work on getting ourselves a sylph set up. Sylphs are to mobs. Uh, I'm sorry. Sylphs are to plants as drigmies are to mobs. So if we uh, set up a sylph farm and we put plants around there, the sylph will automatically farm the items for us, uh, basically duplicating them. So if we have flowers there, the sylph will get the flower off of a flower. Uh, same thing with saplings and all of that stuff. So, yeah, that's where we're at. That's what I want to work on. What is going on here? I thought I saw. Yeah, this thing's jammed up, ain't it? Are we not extracting? I see that there is a, there's a jam. Ah, that's why. Aha. Uh -huh. We were jammed up. Okay. 
Well, now it should clear out. Which means I've never been getting any of those. What was that thing that I planted in the back here? Ditch bulb, which uh, from what I understand is actually broken. The growth on this is the Create Harvester cannot harvest the ditch bulb in the first place. So we're going to have to figure out some other solution for that. Uh, and we can go ahead and actually tear this down. Is it bad that I was too lazy to scroll through so I just broke another one so I can get to dirt? Yeah. Anyway, so a sylph. Sylph is going to require source gems, ancient saplings, all this good stuff. So I went ahead and crafted uh, everything that we are going to need for the sylph, including additional ancient saplings. We made these before. It's not very difficult to do. Uh, so I actually went ahead and made two sets so that we had an extra uh, couple in our system. But the hard part here is going to be the benevolent goddess charm from Batania. Now let me go ahead and turn off advanced tooltips. The Benevolent Goddess Charm from Batania is uh, going to be up here, and it's going to require us to have two pink petals, a Rune of Water, got it, Mana Diamond, got it, Rune of Spring, don't got. So everything we have here. How do we make a Rune of Spring? Well, Rune of Spring is made with a Rune of Water, got it, Rune of Fire, got it. I went ahead and made extra of both of these since I knew we were going to use them for these crafts. Um, a Spirit of Birthing, we're going to have to figure that out. Syrup Bottle, we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, any two flowers two pieces of turf, and an Osiris God Shard. Okay, so not the simplest thing in the world to craft. The hard part here is going to be these two items here, the Spirit of Birthing and the Syrup Bottle. Let's, so let's talk about the Syrup Bottle because it's the easiest of the two. So Syrup Bottle is made with uh, a fluid encapsulator of syrup in a bottle or a spout in bottle, okay? Syrup is made in a thermopneumatic processing plant with sap, over 104 degrees will convert over to syrup. 20 millibuckets converts over to one millibucket. That's ridiculous. Or we can do a fractionating still of a thousand, one bucket will convert over to 250 millibuckets. I'm pretty sure that's the same ratio here, isn't it? Uh, anyway, ends up with a lot of syrup or a lot of sap or a lot of water, a little bit of syrup. This is the route I'm gonna go because it doesn't require any heat, just requires power, which we have power available to us. And so what I did in between episodes here, uh, I went and bought a maple sapling, planted that guy over here, because remember this uh, arboreal extractor we had here was not doing anything anyway, because I had broken the leaves. So we have this set up here and we have sap available to us off of our maple log. So we can go ahead and grab a bucket of this stuff, pop inside somehow, and get in our fractionating still, which I did end up clearing out all of the uh, stuff that was in there. It was... Uh, Refined fuel. It's in a mechanism tank is where it's all at. Or heavy oil maybe is what it is. Um, but anyway, so we're going to process this down into the sap. And then... Yeah, we're actually going to want to do four of these. It'll make it easier, ultimately. That way I can bucket out of this. Uh, so let me get my buckets, because apparently I put them all in my system. I only wanted three, but that's okay. One, two, three. That way I get a bucket of uh, stuff out of there. You guys go away. And then you get tick accelerated. Okay, so now we should have a bucket of syrup and then water. The water I'm going to go ahead and clear. Uh, if you Alt-Shift-Click, you can clear that out. Uh, and then that way I can just pick up the water, or I mean the sap, or the syrup, without having to worry about picking up the water. It should have picked up the water first because it was in the first slot, but just to be safe. Uh, and then I should have a fluid encapsulator here, and I can go ahead and get some bottles. Oops. Throw those in there, and there we go. Bottles of syrup. So not really terribly too difficult. Just required a little bit of a processing. But the bottles of syrup are there, and we're good to go. So now it's the spirit of birthing. So the spirit of birthing is made uh, by manually breeding animals in a high aura area. If we take a look at our aura in this area, where is my environmental eye? We're not really a high aura area here. Over here would probably be considered more of a high aura, but it's not like maximized. Where did my cactuses go? I ended up with 73 cactus, but 
the rest of I don't know how these things despawn like disappeared. I don't understand how this would have cut the cactus unless a tr you know what happened. One of these trees grew and replaced the cactus. Guarantee that's what happened there. Anyway, uh, so spirit of birthing, manually breeding the animals in high aura areas. Not so much. We can also make them with a uh, natural altar uh, with a transmutation catalyst and a tablet of fertility. So as you can see here, we're going to go that route. So in order to make the transmutation catalyst, we are going to need uh, to do a ritual of the forest with this stuff. Golden stone bricks, ingot of the skies. Remember, we already had one of those. We have a spare. Golden inlay, infused rock, gold leaf, and a botanical brewery. So you can see here, bam, we have uh, all of that stuff in this line of product here, except for the botanical brewery. The botanical brewery is made with a conduit, living rock slabs, serene blossom and a resonating gem and the resonating gem is just an aquamarine thrown into a mana pool which we have here so we can go ahead and begin both of these crafts uh, so we're going to need some gold powder and that's basically basically what we get uh, and some bone meal i love not having to run back indoors to get any of my stuff anymore though it's uh, fantastic and I should figure out how to automate this. I bet you I can, with uh, modular routers, I could automate all of this setup here. Get a distribution module with a sender linked to all of these. Have a chest here with the uh, uh, a modular router that pulls from a chest that a crafter points into. Have it distribute to the stands and then have another one that sits here and plants the... Um, sapling and then some sort of placer to place all this gold powder we can figure something out i'm sure um we're going to need you 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 and you along with you and you Remember, just be careful with your bone mealing because you don't want it to grow too fast and it messes up the whole process. And there's a botanical brewery. I should have actually made two of these because we're going to need uh, there's other recipes that require botanical brewing, uh, brewing specifically here, our vial of crimson shade for when we get into our. Um, there's the. Uh, these things, what is that used for uh, the the thing that we're using with the Afrit essence? You all know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, I'm sorry, because I don't know what I'm talking about either. Okay, one more of these. Get out of here. We can throw all that back away. We're going to grab all this stuff. Gold inlay. And there we go. And that will get us a transmutational catalyst. Because remember, we had the crumbling catalyst before. This is a transmutation catalyst. Different item. So we go ahead and throw this here. We can then go ahead and get our uh, tablet of fertility, which is a fairly simple craft. We shouldn't have everything we need for this, except for the golden apple, apparently. Um, eight ingots of gold with an apple. I don't have, actually, a smeltery set up. I'm trying to think, what's our easiest way to do this? Yeah, okay, so it's probably the cooking pot. Let's go back home. Uh, home. I need gold dust, right? And I might as well make a bunch of this. I might as well make enough for 60 of these. Enchanted ash. That is just bones smelted up, right? So I'm going to need 31 bones. We'll just do a stack of them. Hey, you are the right pipes. You'd think it would be able to maintain power, but I guess not. Okay, so that is the enchanted ash. That gets me two stacks of that. We're going to use, uh, well, we'll just grab Enchanted Ash. We're going to grab 32 of them. Then we're going to need uh, some gold dust. We're going to need a total of 64 gold dust, so gold ingots. 
and we're doing it this way so that I can just get the gold, the golden apples that we need for the uh, enchanted apples. Just we're going to have them ready to go for us now. Makes sense. Uh, you can't handle it. Come on, you can handle it. You can do it. You can do it. Finish. Bam. Okay. So there's those. And then uh, it is just apples, which we should have plenty of. There we go. That's going to make us 32. Why did I only do 32 and uh, 64? I don't know. But that's okay. There we go. And then you're going to do your thing. And we should be able to take accelerated, but we just need the one for now. And then the rest can cook off as they go. Okay, so that is that. So that should be now be the tablet of fertility. Got it. And then we can do, uh, if I hit the right button, we can do the transmutational catalyst up here. And get ourselves spirit of birthing. I almost fell in that hole too. So then if I place this here, we should be good to go. In a couple hours, apparently. Wonder how much uh, Alton aura this takes. Go faster. Hey, there we go. No idea. Pretty much decimated our aura in this area. If you look here, we're pretty we're pretty low, but uh, we're 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 working on solving that problem, right? Right. Anyway, uh, so Spirit of Birthing, which now allows me to get my Rune of Spring going. And that was all of this stuff. So we should be able to do this, 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 and one of these. And then if we get our Living Rock and our Wand of the Forest, we should be able to... What are you missing? Two flowers. Oh, the syrup. Yeah, syrup. Did I put it all away? I must have. Syrup. Okay, still not wanting to go. Uh, so the two runes, the spirit of birthing, the syrup, the Osiris God shard. Is it not wanting to take the flowers? Or is there... Yeah, it's not a matter of mana because it doesn't start transferring the mana until after. Why no go? Oh, maybe it specifically wants tulips. That's the case. That kind of sucks. So I can do a poppy. Okay. They did not say that I can throw that in there. Oh, with an alchemy catalyst with another mana pearl. Son of a gun. Apparently, we need more than I thought. Uh, Invar Nugget. And we have an infused mana pearl. I can throw that into one of these. Oh, uh, that's you. Okay. Yay for me making a second one of those because, uh, yeah, it's needed. Alchemy Catalyst. Now I can go ahead and throw the poppies in here. Those are going to get us these two flowers. These two. These two. And tulips. Okay. Let's take that back because we don't want it to sit there. We can go ahead and actually put this back here so when we need it, we have it available to us. And we can clean up. And then sleep because we're going to run out of power at home and I need access to my refined storage. We're going to have to take everything out of here, though. Give me all my items. No, unintended. I need the flowers back, please. Get out of here. There we go. Okay. You go away. Let's do this, 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 and this. Now it's ready. Now it's happy. 
So then if we do this, oh wait, we gotta wait. We gotta put the living rock on there, wait for it to transfer up all the mana, then we're gonna get the Rune of Spring. So once we get the Rune of Spring, I'll craft the Benevolent Goddess Charm, and then we will come back next episode and get ourselves set up. Uh, so I'll be right back once this finishes, and then we'll wrap up the episode. All right, Rune of Spring is ready. Bam. Oh, and we got our uh, Rune of Water back. But what about our Rune of Fire? Oh, there we go. Okay, Rune of Fire came back. Also, it was pointed out to me that we should be able to make lenses, uh, like the lens of Velocity, I believe, this one. This makes it so that your uh, mana spreader works faster. There's the velocity one, and then there's the potency one. I don't remember which one's which, but let's go ahead and grab all this stuff out of here, by the way. Okay. Uh, so then, I keep thinking that we have to go inside to make our stuff, but we don't. We can just craft our Benevolent Goddess Charm. We're just going to use our one Rune of Spring. It literally deleted it, so that's fantastic for us. But we now have the Benevolent Goddess Charm, which means we can go ahead and do our Sylph Charm. So let's go ahead and do that, and then uh, wrap up the episode here. Uh, so that is all of this stuff. You can go away. Uh, we're going to do you and you, and you and you, and you, and you and you. Uh, and you, and then our catalyst is going to be our sylph shard. Bam. And now that'll get us a sylph. And so the sylph is going to be, like I said, uh, to plants as the Drigme is to, um, mobs. Similar area setup that it has, a 10 block radius. So we'll set this up somewhere, uh, more, well, we'll probably set it up temporarily just so that I can get the flowers that we need. And then I'll work on building it a permanent home, probably somewhere over here that we can have it. Uh, so it's like a little bit more natural looking and all that stuff, you know, maybe. Uh, but yeah, so that's the self shard. We got that. Before we end the episode, I'm going to go ahead and collect any of our quests that we have, because we've had a few quests uh, from the past couple episodes. Let's clear off our to do's. Uh, we did that. Yeah. Okay. So we have a bunch of quests. We have tools and armor because we made that pneumatic jackhammer, apparently. Uh, automation, refined storage. We have mechanism, pneumatic craft, all kinds of stuff. So let's collect our rewards and see what kind of goodies we got. Wow, look at all this stuff. Okay. Uh, so pumpkin seeds. Great. Redstone chunk, aluminum chunk, tin chunk, iron chunk, advanced chemical tank, 256 bucket capacity. Mechanical pipes, speed upgrades. We love those. Advanced PCBs. Volume upgrades. Those are nice to have. Potion of mana, mythical clay. Ah, token of grief. That's the advanced nature's aura token. So we have one of those already. Speed upgrades from refined, sender module puller, uh, wixie shards, terracotta, all the augment cores, mana glass, honey bottle, dark oak sapling, and a compressed iron drill bit. Sweet. But yeah, next episode we'll come back. We'll get our sylph taken care of. Get that set up. Uh, and I'll probably we'll probably do the sylph because it's not going to take terribly too long. And then we're going to get our bees set up. I've been sitting on this in our to do list for a while. Oh, and I forgot I had these in here to do that craft. Good thing I had extra. I've been sitting on these for a while. They're literally ready to go. I just need to craft these and then craft that, and then we'll have our centrifuge going. You're also going to notice down here I have glyph of linger and summon decoy. I did go ahead and augment our uh, spawner up here. I don't think I ever mentioned it actually. It was mentioned in the comments that I should set up what's called a... Oh, look at this mess. This thing is full. <laughs> There's a spawner inside of here, and I have a spawner agitator from Pneumaticraft. All you do is place this on a uh, spawner, and it will do the whole thing of requiring not requiring you to stay nearby. Super simple craft. I had a few from when we had gotten quest rewards. But yeah, look at all this. This is a mess in here. But it's still working. It's still there. And then I went ahead and did the extra entities and decreased spawn delay with these two um, glyphs. I made a few of them. Fairly simple. We had Dragon's Breath and Mythical Clay. Uh, or, well, we made I made Mythical Clay, Marvelous Clay, and the Sunstone. Super cheap. And then I have these two so we can learn them whenever we get to Tier 3. Uh, but, yeah. This is a nice little setup here we got going on. We have a ton of Blazing Blood. I really need to get Ender Tanks going uh, and Ender Chests. Ender tank, ender chests. Maybe I'll make some of, another one of these. Yeah, I'll do. So I'm gonna make some of these in between episodes, so that way we can get these uh, dimensional shards. But we're gonna have to create a sawmill, which is cheap. 
Invar large plate. Oh, I'm going to have to make another. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. We've gone on long enough. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.